Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth and uh, all my million mask marchers. Much love. A little bit of an op wiki poet update here. Um, now poet is claiming that NPS, National Park Service, gave her the decision of whether people can um, wear masks or not in D.C. Yeah. So now NPS uh, has just bestowed legal authority upon poet, um, to which you know my response was and we can go through and look at that um, prove it to me and oh wait you already had the authority okay because the, the whole idea is this is a probably a fed operation um, and she's just a puppet anyway uh, another side note she's also lying about the law the code says mass are permitted if no violence is intended that is not true now make a clear statement I don't really give a shit what the mask law is I think it's ridiculous I think I'll wear a mask if I choose to wear a mask anywhere in my country that's not the point you need the facts to base your decision on your own beliefs and with somebody coming on the scene leveraging all the major um, activists and in, in groups and then spreading disinformation is not cool with me and it's not cool with many people and here is the law no, it's very clear and it's very simple to understand. No person over the age of 16 years of age, while wearing any mask, hood, or device whereby any portion of the face is hidden, concealed, or covered, as to conceal the identity of the wearer, shall walk on the street. You can read through this. I'll link you to it. And it clearly says here, the provisions of subsection A of this section apply only if the person was wearing a hood, mask, or other device. So, in other words, you can do all these things if you're not wearing a hood. Down here, where it mentions threats or illegal activity, if you're wearing a mask, what this means is there would be an additional charge for committing that crime while you had a mask on. But that doesn't mean you can wear a mask if you're being nonviolent according to the D.C. law, which, again, I reiterate, that's bullshit. I'll wear the mask if I want to. But, poet, if you're going to tell the people that you supposedly represent and are trying to draw near you lies, then you need to be removed because you're, you're going to sway public opinion. You're going to get people in compromising positions that they don't know how to handle. And again, let's go back here to the boast about NPS, leaving the decision up to me. We, and I think that's in the photo as well. Uh, they said they could not comment when I asked what precautions you should take. They left it up to my discretion as to whether or not to permit masks. It pays to be nice, sincere, cooperative, and truthful. Oh, fucking please. NPS doesn't have the right to give anybody any authority when it comes to the written law. That's not how it works, unless you're one of them already. And even then, right? Even though lawmen have to stay within the law, right? Seems pretty simple to me. I want everybody to be on high alert, and I want you to understand that this goes deeper than the Million Mask March. The Million Mask March is a gleaning pool. WikiPoet also runs the uh, site uh, globalrevolution.org or whatever it is. I don't visit her sites, and I don't suggest that you do. But I, I suggest that you listen up. And I want you to listen up while we call the National Park Service and ask them if they've bestowed this legal authority, if they've deputized the wiki poet to decide what laws we shall comply with or not. So you listen in for a minute. There's their number. You see 202-485-9880. Two zero two four eight five nine eight eight zero. right? Let's call the headquarters. Now, they may be closed. Maybe I'll have to leave a message. But they'll have the message, won't they? Of course, we will let them know they're being recorded for quality assurance.
You have reached the voicemail for the National Mall and Memorial Parks. Please leave a message. Yes, sir. My name is Kevin Allen. I'm an alternative media source calling from MasterOfManyThings.com. I've just become aware that the National Park Service has basically deputized a one Christine Ann Sands. You'll find her driving the large Anon mobile RV. But according to her online statements, the National Park Service has bestowed the authority upon her to go against D.C. law that says we can't wear marks masks during the upcoming march and she is telling people that you can and that the park service has left it up to her discretion now i'm sure that the park service would not go beyond what the law says and deputize somebody that we can't even prove the identity of but i would like confirmation of this if you could return a call to 603 452 7086 um, this call is being recorded and uh, will be released to YouTube as well and I would like a clear statement on whether Christine A. Sands aka Wiki Poet has the authority to tell people whether they can wear masks or not in DC thank you for your time again the number is 603-452-7086 okay folks you know at least Something's being done about it. I know some of you are going to bitch, oh, it's after hours and blah, blah, blah. You'll have some. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it at all. There's many of you out there that, that can't see what I'm seeing, and that's fine. But just understand, every day, more and more and more information coming in. this stuff that isn't even linked here that I can't show you right now because I haven't put it into a copy and paste, and I will protect the identity of the people that are sharing information with me. But just know, poet, you are surrounded. And you're falling through every day. Your slandering of me only came out after I made note publicly that you aren't attacking me. You continued to attack John Fairhurst, even though I was the one calling you out. And you didn't change your direction until I mentioned it. You're dancing when I want you to dance because you're software and you have to react and you're reacting just as I thought you would, like software. Yes, there's a human driving around in a van. Oh, and by the way, let's mention that van. This may not be anything at all. May not be the same type of RV. I don't know. I don't know. But the government is building an RV for surveillance link you to that as well and again much more much more information so this link will be below this link will be below uh, and if you need any other information and I'll link you to the National Park and uh, I'm gonna ask you maybe give them a call or email them or whatever you feel comfortable with uh, because one person calling could just be you know a, a, a bicker a, a personal thing but if many of us call well, then they're certainly going to put a stop to Miss Sands lying about shit. And if they don't, well, then we'll know even more, won't we? Much love, many thanks, and I'll see you soon, so it's probably wise to expect me.